What's up my little pretties? It's your mistress of Shawline is here and today we are going to review another movie. Now this is a Disney Pixar movie. I know, no it's a bit different from what movies I usually review, but I'm going to review a Disney Pixar movie. Now, <laughs> before I start off with this review, I want to say that this movie is going to turn 25 years old as of this year. And why? Well, it's because I want to review this movie because it's a very excellent movie. Well, Pixar for that matter, but it's still a good movie. And that, my little pretties, is called Toy Story. Now, I'm reviewing Toy Story because it's going to turn 25 years old today. And I thought, why not I review a Toy Story? Thinking that it's a good movie. Which, of course, it is. Now, Toy Story... I'm pretty sure everyone has seen the movie and there are sequels to it like Toy Story 2 which that's a, an awesome movie which I will review that in the future. Uh, Toy Story 3 is another good movie and we just had recently had the fourth movie that was released almost a year ago. Oh my goodness. It was released last year in June and I remember seeing this movie as a kid. Everyone who's grown up in the 90s and even today, every little child I'm sure they have seen Toy Story. Now, before I get started with this review, I'm pretty much going to say that I'll be spoiling pretty much about what is happening in Toy Story. And if you guys don't want to hear me spoil it, I highly recommend you go watch this movie right now. You will not be disappointed. Now, to start off with Toy Story, what happens in the beginning is Andy is having a birthday party. The kid's name is Andy, and he plays with his toys toys while in his old house and they found out they were going to be moving soon and so they decided to have Andy's birthday before the move. So basically Woody the cowboy is pretty much much Andy's favorite toy but halfway through the film at the birthday party Andy gets a new toy which his name is Buzz Lightyear here who is played by Tim Allen. Now Woody in this um movie is played by Tom Hanks, which he's a really awesome actor, and I'm sure most of you guys know who Tom Hanks is and Tim Allen, because obviously they're amazing people. Like, they're amazing for Toy Story. And, of course, we get some other actors that were in this, too, and there and Mr. Potato's Head's voice actor, Don Rickles, I think it's John, Don Rickles, unfortunately passed away around... 2017 I think he had a heart a heart attack or something I think that's what happened I'm not too sure but he, he will be missed and this story well this um Toy Story movie was my favorite movie now I know the other sequel the sequels to it were pretty good but I think my favorite sequel of Toy Story would have to be the second movie obviously the second movie introduced new characters in that which I will kind of explain to explain that in you know in the future but let's begin with more with Toy Story. Now, Buzz Lightyear gets a lot of attention from the from the other toys, and he gets more attention from Andy. So Woody, on the other hand, gets jealous of the attention that Andy is giving with with Wood with uh, Buzz, saying he's a good toy and stuff like that. So, so basically, Buzz is trying to get rid of um was trying to get rid of uh, Buzz. So basically, he pushes Buzz off the window ledge. Ledge. So he gets, so Woody gets the attention back from Andy. When one day, Andy's mom said to him that they're going to Pizza Planet. So Woody he is in the car going to Pizza Planet with um, Andy when Buzz shows up. And basically, the two have an argument. And as they were arguing about, you know, because here's the thing, Buzz thinks he's a real space ranger when he's not. And he's kind of like in a bit of in denial in that point. So Woody had to keep, you know, get it through Buzz's head over and over and over again. But Buzz doesn't seem to care. Well, at least till later on in the film, that is. So they go to Pizza Planet and they try to catch up with Andy, but it doesn't work out as pretty much Buzz gets some um, in a 
claw game with the aliens. So a kid named Sid finds Buzz Lightyear and he successfully uses the claw game and wins Buzz Lightyear and Woody. So Woody and Buzz ends up staying, being stuck at, um, at Sid's house for a bit. And, um, Woody tries to get, you know, Andy's toys, um, like their attention over to, um, Sid's house and ask them for help. But unfortunately that doesn't work out. And basically Buzz and Woody have to figure out a way to get out by themselves. So Basically, when Wood, when Buzz watches a commercial based on um, his toy, he realizes that he's not a flying toy, even though he wants to prove them wrong. He tries to fly, but he unfortunately just falls to the ground. And then he re comes to realize that he won't fly, and it's all because, well, because he's a toy, and obviously he doesn't fly. So... The next part of the movie gets on when when Woody t teams up with Sid's toys to try to to get Sid back for from destroying toys as Sid was trying to destroy Buzz Lightyear. However, that works out and basically Woody and Buzz realizes that their um that the moving truck that Andy was in was leaving along with Andy, so they try to leave. Le they try to catch up, but it's not working, and they ended up using the the firecracker that um was strapped on the buzz woody uses a match and gets some um, buzz to fly and they end up up going in and they end up going into andy's car where at the end of the movie all the toys end up in andy's place and it's christmas time so that is basically pretty much the toy story movie now what do i think of this movie I actually remember watching this as a kid, and I obviously loved the movie so much that I ended up watching the movie over and over and over again. And I'm sure a lot of people who were kids at the time will love have loved this movie, and even myself. But I could definitely say that the characters, well, the toys, whatever you decide to call them, were pretty good. Now, I really do think that Toy Story did a great job, and I obviously really really impressed that this movie is just as good as um good for a Disney Pixar film. However, this movie actually did pretty good and I don't have anything negative to say about this movie. This is actually a classic. Like a classic film that was originally will be the classic. And I obviously really do love the characters. The characters were just adorable. I even love Tim Allen's voice as Buzz and Woody's voice who is um, Tom Hanks, and John, Don Rickles, unfortunately, passed away in 2017, but he is, um, Ham, no, not Ham's voice, um, Mr. Potato Head's voice, which he did a pretty good job there, too. I like Rex's voice, which he's pretty cool. I think Ham was really cute as well, along with Slinky, so it's actually a really great film, and I obviously really think that this movie deserves a lot more, um, likes and stuff. And you know, this is just very impressive. Like, with Disney and Pixar coming up with great movies, this is actually one of them that actually did pretty good. Now, the Sid character, I found him a bit an found him annoying as a kid. And I still do. But he is kind of funny halfway part some parts. But mainly he's just annoying and he's just a destructive little piece of crap. But obviously I really don't care because this movie is just amazing. The storyline of how the movie went out was just amazing. The concept itself was good. And even the voice acting was just amazing. Now, this is actually um, going to be 25 years old soon. And I obviously love this movie. So for those who grew up in the 90s, we'll probably have remembered seeing this movie in feed years or something like that as a kid. This movie, I'm going to be honest, this movie is the classic of all Disney Pixar movies. Certainly there are other ones like, you know, um, Monsters, Inc., Cars, The Incredibles and all that, which I will review um, a couple more Disney Pixar movies. Um, well, over time I will review them. Maybe I'll review Monsters, Inc. or something. But this movie was honestly the best movie of Disney Pixar and will be the best Disney Pixar movie in history. Of course there's other ones, but Toy Story is the most popular and the most 
memorable ones we ever seen. But although Toy Story 3, 2 did a pretty good job too, I honestly will, I honestly highly recommend you watch the first Toy Story movie. If you're going to watch, you know, Toy Story 2, 3, or 4, you got to watch this one first before you do so. Like, before I watched Toy Story 4, this is a little fun fact, by the way. Before I watched Toy Story 4, I watched, um, I rewatched the first three movies. So I can get, like, a little memory refreshed on what this movie is about. But yeah, if you guys like this movie, give it a thumb up and like i'm gonna say now this is simply my own personal opinion on this disney pixar movie and if you disagree with me that's okay too um my final rating of this movie is going to be a 10 out of 10. it's a great movie great classic and the acting the animation everything about it was amazing now if you guys want to give this movie a chance you're more than welcome to give this movie a chance if you want to and if you guys have not seen this movie, I highly recommend you go check this movie out. So, with that being said, I hope you um, enjoy this um, movie review. And thank you for watching. And I'm going to say right now, if you've not seen this movie, or if you know someone who has not seen this movie, please recommend them this movie as they will not be disappointed. This movie is awesome. Just like with The Lion King and The Lion King 2, this movie is amazing. Well, it's not bad, bad, well, it's a pretty good movie, just like with Disney Pixar, it's a pretty good movie, I could definitely please say that. But if you guys like this movie, movie, then yeah, and if you want to show it to your kids, feel free to do so. And what did you all think about this movie, people? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what you have done personally to help make this movie a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Shadow Linus. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure you like, comment, subscribe because I upload videos every day. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. I sorry about that burp. I had burgers there earlier. Uh, don't burgers like I had cheeseburgers. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so you won't miss an upload. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll be over and out, and I'll see you all next time. So, peace out. See you all later.